Ok, hello and welcome to a new cube video. This is just a regular Magic Online Cube League uh, with the Alpha Frog Cube. And yeah, let's open in a box. This is not nothing weird, no single limb, no teams, just the regular cube. So yeah, take a box and easy. This is a wood pack also, like Palace Jailer, Balance, and Tom. Let's see how different is this from, well, like the cubes we play in the server and all that. So Mox Emerald, Chariot is very good and green, so that's a good combination. Uh, the Talisman, Talismans are always nice with Moxen. Mm. What else do we have here? The Fluid Strand is fine. I like a Sika's Chariot a lot, and playing it ahead of the curve with a Mox and a Mox, it's always nice. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chariot is nice. I like Chariot a lot. Okay, uh, the best card here by a wide margin, I think, is Lilia. And then Grief. I will take Lilia, playing ahead of the curve. Also nice and uh, let's try to make this draft going like fast, you know, like oh nice, yeah. Now season it down for some like red green aggressive action. That's the kind of deck that actually really really can use a mox because well the ones and twos are not that good, right? But we have many threes and fours that are awesome. Like right now we have the on the screen. And if you also include like the dragons in, on five and Miss Kambu, all of a sudden, like you have a lot of stuff you want to play ahead of the curve. I cannot, I need a better green screen. I, I mean, I don't have a green screen, just a, a random filter. But my room is filthy, so I don't want to show it. It's kind of fun. Ah, you can. Ooh. Ooh, no. There's nothing here. Come on, come on, picks, picks. Hmm. Picks. No, no picks. Nobody wants to pass us a pack of Magic the Gathering cards. Mm. That makes me sad. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, Magda. Magda is a very solid two drop. That's a very solid two drop. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like like attacking today. Like yeah. Let's let's just just attack people, you know? How do you think? Yeah, I think so. Attacking is awesome. Okay. Um, Stompo, huh? Stompo is always nice. Yep, yep. I'm not even gonna look at the rest of the pack. Yeah, let's leave that mono red life. Boldaren Thrill Seeker. That's a pioneer card for sure. It's good with Giant. Like attack for six, hit you for six. Don't mind it. The other cards suck, so yeah. Hmm. Wow, this pack. Okay, now is a moment to reflect. Because this pack sucks. I'm taking Revoker. Yes, this is going to be like a dynamic fast video. That's my whole plan here. Just. You know, the classic one hour league with the draft and everything, killing on turn 4 or dying on turn 4. I like leagues, I think it's, they feel so insignificant compared to the team drafts or even the single limb ones. Those are like high, you know, like your high pressure situations, you're playing with such good players, drafting with such good players, and the leagues are like, like we have 
eight people here, well, eight, seven, seven and myself, right? I'm going to take Taiga over Fork Bolt or something. I would like to really play the Sika's Chariot. So it's like, of those eight people, maybe they are awesome. We don't know. Maybe they are like playing like uh, whatever, right? While they do other, other, other stuff. I don't know. It's just like, doesn't feel the same way. Doesn't hit the same way. How does it feel for you, right? Like you watch my videos and if you haven't, well, welcome. But it's like, is this cooler? Is this more boring? Because it doesn't mean anything. It's just a random league. You could be playing a random league and run, uh, watching me. I do appreciate that. Unless you are like in the under uh, what's the name? The tube, the underground, metro. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have no like what what's happening here. In this part of the curve, <laughs> what's going on there? And this is what you get for forcing mono red. It's always open, I guess. Oh, Bomaterino, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, man, boom, man. Can we open a Ragavan? A Goblin Guy. Figure of Destiny. Means Kambu. Means Kambu would be nice. So the problem with Tindras is they take like two hours, but single links, I do lose a lot in those, so they are very fast. And this is like, I can play them at my leisure. So it's nice to record a league. I hope the video is not like two hours long, because when I make modern videos, they take forever. Uh, wow, wow, this pack. I mean, I love Tile Striker, but not in a mono red aggro deck. I love Goldspan. I don't mind Hellkite, I guess. Goldspan is fine. It's, just a, it's a 5 drop. We don't want to wait for speaking that. Yeah. Whatever. We did pass a lot of white, man, white cards in the first pack. So I don't expect to... Like, I don't expect our guys on the right to be on the left to be red so we should get some good red stuff huh the best card here is probably questing beast which i really enjoy but it's double green uh, uh. reckless tom seeker is nice like it's very solid card but we have so many threes already, right? I guess this is not a three, this is a two, and this is more like a four or five. So in that case, yeah. Or is just Glory Bringer better? Yeah, let's take, let's play Red Green Dragons. Yeah. There was a modern deck like this, right? Like Red Green, Mid Range, Ponza. Ooh, La Fabula del Rompedor de Espejos. Yep, yep, yep. Fable is awesome. I don't need to explain why Fable is awesome in this day and age. So yeah, Fable is awesome. Um, yeah, stomping ground. Good fixing. I really hope we open Miss Kambu. I would play elves in this deck. Now we have already like four free green sources. I would play I ignoble hierarch, but like this is like the pioneer deck, right? There's a red green pioneer deck that plays like boats and Sika's chariot and that kind of stuff. And eight elves. So please send me elves. Janowar, that kind of things. Hmm. Have to stay stand still. If I move, uh -huh. I move to the side. Just very thin in the middle. Mamma mia, mamma mia. I, I was hoping to open Miss Kambu, but somehow like, this doesn't feel right. This card is broken, broken, like completely broken. Why did they pass that to us? I'm happy. I take it. But why? 
Why? Why? It just frustrates me. Like, this will or should not happen, like, in a clean draft, right? Like, do not pass means Kambu, please. The card is absolutely broken. <sighs> Ooh, seeding zone. Ooh. Turn two gold span with Mox Emerald. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's happening. This card is last, like fine, right? It's really nice with Fable, actually. No, no, no. We're taking Chrome Mox with this curve. Yeah, yeah, we're taking the Mox. Sorry, I didn't realize that was a Mox there. Uh, green Fetch with Array with Taiga and Stomping Ground goes, goes right in. Okay, okay, deck. I mean, I would like to have like Lightning Ball and Ragavan for the one drops, but even like in Novel Hierarch would work. Second Mox, this kind of decks always like Moxen. Ooh, we are taking Thunder Mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn 3, Seeding Zone, Glory Bringa. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Storm Seeker, yes. Epicure is just so medium minus. Like it's not bad, bad per se, but it's not. It's not good. Hmm. ASMR is my passion. I guess in English it's like ASMR. Uh, doesn't matter what we take. Also, that's another thing. When I'm playing teams. Every pick, every pick matters, or it feels like it matters. But here it's like, who cares, right? It's a league, who cares, let's pass everything. Like, I don't want any of those cards. Yeah, but I think it's cool to record these ones because like it's so convenient and easy for me. I don't have to wait for the server and the people to get on for a draft. I just like jump on a league and play, so that's pretty cool. Uh ooh, I will take down Ray Channeler. I like the card. And Rampage in Raptor, yeah. Uh we really need another Mox or an elf or something or two elves. Two mana dorks would be nice. Especially like birds or in Novel Hierarch would be the best. S speak of the devil. So there's mana drain and demonic tutor. We are passing them, of course. We are taking Hyra in Novel, but the rest of the pack does nothing for us. Okay. Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> what do I even pick here? Archon? <laughs> Underworld Bridge? <laughs> this is not a deck for Joraga Tree Speaker. Uh, it's not a good Yoraga deck. It's not even a, a good Wheel of Fortune deck. Like sometimes when I'm playing like a old one drops or whatever, I'm fine playing Wheel of Fortune, but in this deck? Not really. I'm going to take it, because why not? But I don't think there's anything I... Mm. I love Fortio Lingas. I cannot pass this card. Just broken. How are we going to play it, you ask? You ask very good questions. Very smart. Uh, Monastery is a solid one drop. Probably better than Sir Ser Ginger. Yeah. Ooh, Windshop hit. Perfect. I mean, it's a green fetch land. We will take it. Uh, Hellrider and so many 4 and 5 drops 
There used to be a time like you play Koth. That's what that was your fourth drop. You had Koth, Koth is awesome. Yeah, that's it. But now it's like there's a million four drops to play. And it's crazy. Fire Blast? Is this a Fire Blast deck? Uh, it's surely not a prime time deck, right? Right. A fast one deck. Uh, Fire Blaster in. We did pass a sneak attack and now we are passing the Antacul. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Uh, Oliphant. Oliphant isn't bad. So I would fix her. It's like a, an extra red fetch land. Is that better than Burst Lightning? That's the question. I think so. We, we have a lot of playables. Also, Oliphant being a land that's color, colorful rather than colorless is very good for Chrome Mox. This deck really needed more accelerators. Like, oof. I think we are gonna win games. Like, we have great fours and threes and so on, but. I'm taking Sabai Trium. I can fetch it with Verdant and with Wizard Heath, and it f suddenly fixes Eorlingas. Yeah, that's a, kind of the perfect Trium actually for us. Kind of is actually, because the, the black makes it. So the perfect one will have been the Abthan one, I guess. Doesn't really matter. A mine collapse, meh. Don't like it. I feel a will a weird energy today. Maybe I'm tired because I have done like three single limbs in a row and lost in all of them. O one, O one, one one. Terrible. So maybe that's why I'm not like I'm in a very I don't give a fuck kind of energy. My brain is just like at its limit. So I play Talisman? No. No. Este cargado, I guess. Is there anything we need to will? There was a burst lining. We would play burst lining. Uh, this deck is not going to be great. So there was a deck in this channel. I did with Minsk Kambu, right? The one where in the thumbnail I have my face on the hamster. That's pretty cool. You can go check that one out. That was a super cool red green Minsk Kambu deck. Well, red green, four colors stuff. But it had more acceleration, like a lot more acceleration. So you were always playing something good ahead of the curve. Here we have a lot of heavy hitters and good cards, but no acceleration. So. Mm. This, like, a Mox Diamond for this deck would have been awesome. A regular Mox, of course. Pff, Lotus. This is the kind of deck that makes Lotus unbelievable. Because, like, any of these cards, well, no, not Season of Paro. But any of these cards on turn 1, unbelievable. Any of these on turn 2, unbelievable. Even for Theorlingas on turn 1. So, this was really a Lotus deck, but we didn't open it. Which was the same. What's left? What are we waiting for? Okay, uh, I mean, actually, Ren and Six, we have two Fetch lands. Nah, probably Sarginger. I don't think I would play Sarginger. Ooh! <laughs> another two drop. Or another four drop. Ah, uh, at this point, who cares, right? Did I take Hellrider? Yes, I did. Is this a good Orchis Lumberjack deck, actually? We need to sacrifice Forest? This may be a good Orchis Lumberjack deck, actually. Like, turn 1 Orchis, turn 2 Dragon? Well, thinking ideas. Thinking thoughts, that we say in Spanish. Uh, let me see. It would be something like this. Like this. 
15 lands, 2 mocks and that's fine. So Chrome Mox uh, lets you skip on mana sources, not like other Moxen. What's the one I'm thinking of? Mox Diamond. Robert is fine. Like, I need the two drops, right? Uh, what, what I don't need is a million three drops. For sure. Oh, also, this is an extra land. Yeah, this is not a fire blast deck, I don't think. I like all the fours. I like this. I need this. And we need seen some. In we put it like this. The mana curve is not so heinous, I guess. Actually, this is not a bomber deck by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, we got this. Let's let's get it. Okay, okay, round one on the play. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, would be better if this was an actual land, but I think we can keep, regardless. Having Taiga, wow, going to this is so important. Let's cycle now so we can embrace the power of the F8. And just go whew, fast. Mm -mm -mm. Taiga. Your go, opponent. Would be awesome to have like a random blue land to play Fire Eyes. Now that I'm just realizing, I don't have any, right? Ooh, per perfect. 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 Okay, this can still be a turn 3 as he cast Chariot or Rampaging Raptor, and that's pretty nice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One of the problems I have with leagues is that it's really, really hard to play around cards, right? Like, what if our, our opponent now goes, hey, Fire Eyes, and I'm like, well, <laughs> I have that card. But they are so convenient and fast, so that's cute. Mindstone, uh, we can beat that, I'm pretty sure. Especially if we draw lands, we can beat that. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Just ask for it and use a receive for something. What is this? Pain more life. Corsor of Crufix? I don't really care about that one, right? Ooh, Ulamog. Okay, so the idea here is we should attack so much that our opponent. Like, I'm just playing Minsk and Boo Boo here. Prowess. <laughs> Easy. Minsk and Boo. You got to love it. You got to love it. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want any of this. Like, mine collapse, maybe. To kill Dex 4, but I'm nah. just going with it. Should I be playing Waterlock Grove now that I'm thinking about it? It's a blue. I mean, it's a better forest, right? Ooh. Nice, nice. This hand is awesome. This hand is awesome. Like, every hand with Mox is going to be awesome. And our opponent started on, starting on Waterlock Grove again. Great, great, great. great. We are. Wow. This is basically the same hand you can have in Pioneer, no? With the Red Ring Vehicles deck we mentioned. But with a Mox. <laughs> I love all border stuff. Look at it, so beautiful. Wow, wow. Taking some damage, opponent. That's a lot. Paulo. Mm. Probably taking Chariot. Maybe not. Paulo is annoying because it trades with our Storm Seeker, but it two damage just to play it. Yeah. Okay, what's this? Taking season with Pyro. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, Fable. Fable, Fable, Fable. Is Fable better than Storm Seeker? I think so. I think so. It's just so good. 
like the the reason to play Stormseeker is to you play Stormseeker, then next turn you play Chariot, Crew Chariot, and attack. But turn to Fable, Pfft, running away with the game. Okay, okay. Uh, our opponent is still taking damage, so that's nice. It's cold today. Okay, novel hierarch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's throw out the um, nothing. What's this? Albrechtino. Let's not activate the fable ability. <laughs> Basically, okay. Uh, so I'm going to play novel, attack for three, and then play chariot. Or we can play Storm Seeker, attack, attack with both things, and next turn play Chariot and attack. That's actually probably better. Also, we keep the treasure this way. Well, our opponent can block the Storm Seeker with Hull Reacher, but that's perfectly fine for us. I believe we are winning that kind of game. Because like, if they are doing that, how are they winning, right? Because from this situation, uh, Time Twister really beats us. Uh, like, if they go land, Time Spiral, pff, we're in a tough spot. But if they block with Hull Breacher, we are pretty fine. Let's see, let's see. Il Livellatore. Il Livellatore. What are we doing? I must say the day night mechanic is much nice much nicer in digital clients like modo or arena than in paper. I just hate it so much. Sit I have to get ready. Tomorrow I have Sparin's Modern National Championship. And I haven't built my deck yet. I'm here recording videos. It's a, a tough life being a content creator with a full-time job. It's like having two jobs and only one place, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are we taking more damage from our lands? Yeah, we are. Oh, nice one. Love me a good fracture identity. Okay, that was a good one. Still, I, I feel like we are in a great spot. Like here, we're attacking with the Goblin Summon as a 3-3. Next turn we can... We are going to have a million mana. We can play the Season of Pyro. That's... Pretty fine. So we saw an Ulamog from our opponent. That maybe indicates channel. But... It's not like they can really play it here. Wow, you can discard life from the low and reach it back with Fable. That's pretty cool. But the land stuff, like streamline, that kind of things, are not it's not really going to hurt us. <laughs> Got them. Easy. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Wow. I mean, if we win all the die rolls, this deck. Hmm. All the two drops, mono two drops hand. Yeah, that's fine. Prediction Revoker can be so bad, but also so good. Like the ceiling, like. If our opponent goes like land versus paradise, pff, revoke that. It's basically a two for one. But it can also name nothing. Right? This thing is interesting. Like, we're just playing it as a two mana three one. Like, I don't know, so many cube staples through the years, like Scra Scrap Heap Scrunger or Pristil Paladin. No, not Pristil Paladin. Uh, Porcelain Legionnaire. Porcelain Legionnaire. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Tap land go. It's not what we want to do, but we don't have that many ones, actually. Like, we do have two mocks, and so maybe. But the problem is, mulliganing to get our chrome mocks is not the greatest. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's go with the 3 1. We could have gone Robert to attack and get 
a trigger. But I think like this is more damage. This is attacking for five rather than two and two, which is four for those of you who are not the fastest arithmetics. Uh, Mazun, what do you have for me? Concilicor, yeah, okay. Nah, so if this is like a, this was a, li a normal limited set, which our hand is like a normal limited hand, you may expect your opponent to not do anything too, but it's impossible for that to happen here. Uh, or it shouldn't at least. And now, our we are we are happy. I mean, Monolith. Let's not name Malik. <laughs> Perfect. This was wonderful. This was wonderful. Like, we just traded for our opponent's turn too. But as I, w I was saying, in cube, in this current 2023, almost 2024 cube versions, you are not doing anything on the early turns. You are falling so behind. Like you need something on one, something on two, so on, so on. Let's go with the raptor first. It's just big. Trample haste. It's not questing beast, but it's not so far away from from it. Like questing beast would be better because it couldn't even be blocked by the tokens. Now they can go like flashback linking souls and block. But we're fine with that one too. This has the Planeswalker test. What it doesn't have that would be interesting is the um, damage can be prevented. Okay, we're flashbacking in insults. That's. Oh, Mesmeric Fiend. Interesting. Hmm. What are you choosing? Probably Lilia. If we draw a white mana for the fourth year Lingas. <laughs> if we draw a land, we can go rover, attack, and activate Rampaging Ferocity only we want. That wouldn't be so bad. So this guy grows with artifacts dying. So like if our revoker, revoker dies, charge ginger rose, that's fine. Are we not flashbacking linking souls here? Shush. What do we have? Huh. I mean, I don't think I have much option. Having a bunch of X ones versus linking souls. <laughs> Let's say it's not so great. Do we have a removal spell here, like a cut down for the rover? In that case, you are going to take a lot of damage from the raptor. Okay, Trigger. Trigger. Ooh, Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of fours and fives, but also we are at 20 life. So, yeah, we are playing that Bob. Take four opponent. Yeah. Boberino. Greatness at any cost. It's even the original art. So it's wonderful. Beautiful. Okay. Prismatic Vista. What are we like? What is this? Is like an upgrade or something on pre Broker? Broker? Soldier said it. <sighs> the sticks are ginger. I, I don't want to give them access to the monolith mana that seems like something in well, something we don't want to do is this soldred okay i mean soldred is wood but it's not game winning right now oh ho, 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 hell rider i mean we took a bunch of damage but it's hell rider lethal right Block here, block here, take four and four, yeah. <laughs> Great draw. Attack for four, take four, and the two blockers but go through the sides. And you take four regardless. Easy. Easy. Hellrider is just amazing. 
like this is a bonus charm plus a 3-3 that attacks right now that's unbelievable okay yeah block there block there take four So this forest, as we mentioned, should should be a waterlock grove, but also we really want to be able to fetch no, we don't want to fetch a basic forest. I don't think so. Having stomping ground and taiga. Like it's true these are only green fetch lands, so having only two targets for them are it's sketchy. Uh, mine collapse deals five. Yeah, we are bringing this in to kill Soldred and taking out. Oh no, no, we are not taking out the answer to taking a, a random X one out. Probably Magda. Nah, the three one is worse than Magda. Okay, I mean this hand is wonderful. It's not broken or anything, but so this is Saka Mountain in your turn to deal five damage so weird like why only on your turn i guess it's the same idea as the like the forces right like you can only play force of negation in your opponent turn but then again why do the elementals <laughs> so i guess what they did with the elementals is give them or not the flash part that was their way of balancing them rather than the oh, only opponent turn or only your turn but then one why make them an instant rather than sorceries? In this case, in the mind collapse part. But I think, I guess it's cool, right? Because you can pay for mana as a limited removal spell, but you can also pay zero. Oh, maybe. Oh, we are taking the one drop. Makes sense, I guess. Okay. Uh, we need a bit of help now. Like, the hand is fine, but. Well, have. Whenever you have Seasoned Pyro, like, this card is great, so... Uh, oh! I mean, yeah, I'm playing it ahead of the curve. If there, this is no Bowmasters, we are fine. If it's a Bowmasters, we are not so fine. So I'm discarding Fire Eyes and Land. Because I'm scared of Soldred, like, two turns from now. So, leaving an answer to Soldred. So, Sounds most reasonable. Mox was a, a wood draw, I would say. Okay, nothing. What do you have? Nothing again? Huh, interesting. I'm totally playing for Theolingas here. Oh, I can't. Because we don't have untapped white mana, right? Yeah, I can't. Shit. So I have shown that, I guess. Still, we are doing very fine. What's this? So let's set it. Okay. That's not something I care for. Do you have a Soldred? Like, if our opponent just goes next turn, slam Soldred, we go draw, force your lingas, mind collapse. GG. So please do that. Land Soldred. Land Solderino. Land, 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 soldier. You can do this. I believe in you, Mathun, opponent. Okay, prismatic vista, fetch, soldier. So, but, like, playing soldier when you know we have the mind collapse is so weird, right? Hmm? Okay, opponent said, fuck it. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do my thing. Let's do this first. Just in case there's like a daze or something. I'd rather mind collapse resolve than force your lingas, I think, in this situation. Without sell red. And now that I'm thinking about days, do I want to play around it? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. That that just seems like I don't know. No possible play, deal all. And this will be the game. Like, how are you getting back from this? That's not only a, a bunch of damage, also now we are the monarch. So, yeah, I'll read my padre. 
It means the king is my father. Mm -mm. We are just cruise, cruising through this league. Okay, for mana damnation. The ring. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, and we're activating and drawing? Wow. Alright, opponent. I'm attacking with this one. Just to get the trigger. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, I don't think we can lose, especially with Soldred in the graveyard. So opponent can do something like reanimate Soldred, draw with the ring to gain a bunch of life. But that's not going to be enough, as this is war. So I'm happy. Rowing, okay, going down to one next turn. I think we got this one. Planes. Damnation, sure. Okay. Perfectly, perfectly fine with me. Hello, I have a dragon. Also, it's like, let's say our opponent kills the dragon or has nothing. Like, you are taking two now. Well, Easy, fast. Let's go to the next one. Oh, we weren't on the play this one. Ah, fine. Should I fix my chair so it doesn't slowly go down? And I'm always at the same hand? Yes, I should. Come on, Moneymaker. Okay, we are keeping a hand with two drops and Fable. Not our best hand, though. Oh, you have the forest rather than the waterlock grove. I try not to change cards during, like, I draft and that's my deck. If I misbuilt it or anything, well, I will change it through sideboarding, but I don't like changing it during the the league because it feels like cheating. Also, I mean, this is cube, so that's not really like testing for anything, but in general, like, if you are trying to replicate real magic, right? That's not totally a good draw. Uh, well, there's nothing you can do in a real draft. Well, maybe in a, like a pro release, I guess. But I just try to make it as similar to competitive magic as possible. Chrome Mox, we have that one too. Really a good draw, actually. Rolling Earthquake and City of Traitors. Can Sign of Urtha. Okay. Let me get a uh, Taiga. Opponent can make a 2-2 two -two, and this will be a 3-1 trample hexproof haste should we offer should we offer the attack with it or just attack with rover ah, I think this is fine because if we attack with this one opponent blocks then they can not minus 2 again without losing the card so I think we're fine. It's not great throwing away cards this way, but also later Raptor really really punishes you get a land. Raptor really punishes planeswalkers. So that would be nice too. We have a, a good cards in this deck. Like very heavy hitting. This is totally like the red green deck in Pioneer. Like every card can win the game by itself, right? Like it's super heavy hitting, even like a lot of haste, so you go all in. Yeah. Okay, opponent, what do you have? This is scary, it's a lot of mana. Sit, I have to sneeze. Okay, I snows. Mountain, mountain, alright. I'm Lotus Petal? Wow, that's a lot of artifacts. Let's play Fable of the Mirror Riker. Sika's Chariot not going to be the greatest against Duck, but we are fine. Opponent has access to 4 mana and a lot of cards. Can even minus card to get Prismari Command. That would be awesome, actually. Uh, half a land, please. 
Dark Faden. Okay, it deals damage to one planeswalker, not to all. That's nice to know. Who will kill Karn if we can? This is maybe like a blue red. I mean, obviously it's like a blue red artifact deck, but it could be twin too. That's problematic, we don't really have good answers for twin. Wow, okay, uh, nothing happened there, that's weird I guess. Let's throw away the Wounds of Heath and probably Rover, just keep like the wood cards I guess. Uh, fine. I mean, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, not attack, not play my thing and attack? This could be a million cards that punish us, like Benzer or what have you. Opponent? has to have spells, they didn't play a land. So let's, let's see. How do I want to attack? Fire Eyes? Just feels so weird, like, we have Fire Eyes in our deck. <laughs> Why does our opponent have it? <laughs> it's very silly, I know, but just like, leaks frustrate me a bit. Okay, I mean the board advantage is ours because creatures attack planeswalker very well and also this creature is amazing against them. Mm, Metamorph copying raptor, that would be annoying. But we have goldspan dragon next turn, so if our opponent does, is not looking for like a combo finish, like a splinter twin situation, wow! Discarded six lands to Dark Fade in total. That's a lot of lands. But now, it's really frustrating to me. Our opponent is beating us basically with our own cards, right? Like Chrome Mox and the other one. And uh, give you Sahili, Chrome Mox and Fire Eyes. Like, that's my cards. What else do you have? Mine Collapse? That one's annoying, actually. It's very annoying. Also, one of our cards. Again. Weird. That's a lot of mana. Who do I want to attack here, in this situation? Probably Sahili or Dark Faden. Nah, Dark Faden. It has to be Dark because I want to play Chariot, so it has to be Dark Faden. You can jump. Dark goes to two. Now I play Chariot, and if Chariot dies, at least we get um. We kill Duck Faden. And again, we have a great board. Reflection copying Goldspan down. Okay, discarding with Duck. So they are probably looking for a combo finish. That's my only explanation for this. Well, also that killing Duck by stealing Chariot is not the greatest here. Hell Rider would be a hell of a draw. So much damage. Mid Battle Sphere and Time Twister, wow. So do we have like Narset or Hull Reacher? I don't know. So this is blue red stuff. Probably the only card we really fear would be upheaval. And they are not even close to in. This could be Prismatic Command. What's this Placer Kitten? 
So displacer kit and uncarn is interesting. Like you, you can do a lot of damage with that. But this is not even like the best position for displacer kit. Then. Let's see. Let's see what they do. They have one mana left and two cards in hand. Okay, there's the mana. Brainstorm. All right. What is displacer kitten going to blink? He can blink on and create a bunch of like gigantic tokens. But we are going to attack on the air. Ooh, blinking Dark Faden. All right, so we want more Dark Faden activations, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now they can steal a chariot. Now they can keep drawing. I feel good about this situation. They have no mana left. Okay, let's queue so we get it out of the way. And now I think we can F6 comfortably. Do you have a zero to use Kitten again? My eye? No, what is it? It's itchy, itchy. Itchy, itches. Right? What's the verb? My eye itches. Hmm. <laughs> MTG Money Maker, what are you doing? That displacer Kitten surprised me. I was thinking more like Prismari Command, kill. Chariot and Reflection of Kiki Yiki. But Kitten just to steal Chariot. I think I like our position. Especially like if we draw something good. Like any of our big drops. Starting to get to a very lethal position. But I still think like if we just kill the Walkers, we are fine. So anything from any Haster. Right, means Kambu would do um, the the big guy, the Hellkite. Mm. We have another dragon. We have Glorybringer. Wow, yeah, Glorybringer. <laughs> Glorybringer would be unbelievable. I think Glorybringer would be lethal, right? That's twelve and six. No, Glorybringer would be eighteen damage, not lethal. Uh, not so great. I mean, still fine. So let's attack. This goes after Karn. This goes after Dark. And this goes to Sahi. No, let's do. This goes to Sahili. This goes to Dark. This goes to Sahili. Like, I think Dark right now is not that threatening. Right, so in order to not lose Sahili, they have to really. Ooh, this is five treasures. Ooh, that's awesome. We have four right now. I think this was the best attack. Do I want to keep Magda? in hand what's the reason to do that so a sweeper of course like reason to do that is a sweeper but yeah so two walkers down only duck faden and displacer kitten left you can still lose from here there are infinite combos there's stuff i think i'm going to play the mag out i don't think there's a reason to keep it in hand Our opponent still at 20 life, but I do believe that whenever when we end up controlling the board, we will win. What if they have like Tassas Oracle and their plan is like Displacer Kitten, Dark Avant, draw, 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 Oracle win? That would be awesome. Chrome hosts its Arcan Island. You have three cards in hand. I imagine they're all spells. Maybe one land of a that's not an island that is from a different color. 
10 cards left in the deck. Ooh, 3 mana, what's this? Narset. Okay. I mean, Narset is fine, but it's not even that scary, right? Let's see what you find. The problem is, like, they are... Ooh, ooh, okay, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. We may die. Just like brain freezes and breathes, and we are done. Oh my god, we may die from here. Yeah. So maybe it was Dark Faden, the one we had to kill. I still believe with Kitten plus Narset, they would be fine. But yeah. So I was scared about Sahili making like a million tokens are. And something like Time Bolt, for example, Sahili Time Bolt is kind of a combo. So I don't know. I was scared. Because you, you can go like Time Bolt, use the token, use Nahiri to copy the token. Ooh, discarding mana gift and Mox Ruby. Uh oh, I think we are dead. Uh, I think we are totally dead here. They only have one island. But if they find Mountain brain, uh, Bridge, we are done. But then, why discard Mox Ruby when you can use Mox Ruby to flicker this place and keep them and keep activating your workers? I have so many questions. Like, there's so much information we are missing, right? From our opponent's deck and hand. I thought they were going to be just like a regular blue red artifact deck. I didn't think about LED brain freeze bridge combo. That was the main reason, I guess, to hit Dark Faden. Walking Ballista, Caldra complete. Okay, now what? Because they discarded the most Ruby, so they, they cannot flick. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that's a good draw. I guess you could say that's a good draw. Can we kill them? What does this do? I don't know, I think we can kill them, right? That's, that's 10 damage, 14. Yeah, this is lethal. That was a good draw, for sure. Oh my god, I know what we're going to do. Oh, this is gonna be great. I mean, this is lethal, but if they have anything, we activate this, search for an artifact, that artifact is Pyrexian Revoker, named Lion's and Diamond, and now there's no way we lose from there. Right? Like with Revoker. Yeah. Let me bring the Waterlock Grove. We didn't see much reason to have removal in our deck. But maybe Fire Blast? No, no, I, I like the deck uh, as it is. Mmm. Mmm, this hand seems way too slow. But if we draw, if we ever draw a green mana, we can play Novel and Season at Pyro. Nah, nah, we can do better than this. This is better, actually. Like, Pyrexian Revoker is going to be very good against our opponent. They have. Chrome Mox, we can name, and they have a million, <laughs> a million planeswalkers we can name. So, good. They mull to five, alright. I think we can beat a mull to five. Let me cycle for a mountain. So, why mountain? Because we don't, we want the stomping ground to be a target for our fetch lands. Am I, go am I going to regret taking out the forest? Yes. Mox Ruby. Okay, Ursa Saga, okay. We cannot name Ursa Saga, actually. Is this Displacer Kitten we are searching for? We are very low on removal in this deck. We are just aggressors, like very, very aggressive aggressors. Mox Rui. Now 
now let's see what they do Ursa Saga can be a real problem for us like big constructs like last game we won because our opponent was not affecting the battlefield all that, all that much but we can have a real problem with the Saga mm, let's play Fable easily they have full Reacher in their deck but the thing with Fable is you choose, right? So it's you decide if the Fable happens or not. It means Kambu is going to be great. Even against like the big tokens. You can just make a bigger thing with Minsk Kambu. And go ham. Are they going to activate again? That would be like the whole turn. You can just float mana, search for Chrome Mox, or Lion's Eye Diamond. We, we may be dead actually. If this is like Lion's Eye Diamond, well, they have the Brain Freeze and the Bridge, we, we are dead. I'm assuming they have the combo, but also they didn't find it last game, even though they have like a good position to do so. Who knows? Oh yeah, they had mana creep. Yeah, yeah, true. They have. I mean, it seems like a solid deck. Like a lot of, of broken cards. Land? Mox is fine, actually. Uh, I don't really care about the two drops in our hand right now. That guy is gonna be useful, like very useful, I think. Just put some counters on this and leave it back to lock. Mm, let's see, our opponent wants to attack. We are blocking with Boo and the Summon token, I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay, this is something. What is this? Ooh, Otawara. I think we are double champ blocking. I want Miss Kambu around. I really want it. I think it's our best way to win this game. To have Miss Kambu. So, another option we had before the Otawara was block and double block. That would have been nice too. Okay, yes. Now this is a very good draw. What we're going to do is put the counters here and attack with gold span and keep fire eyes active. So we can tap one of the things. Actually, I'm double attacking here. This is so much damage. Like, this is basically lethal next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Also, they lost the flip to the mana creep. Always remember, if there's a mana creep in place, there's always hope to win the game. Doesn't matter how bad it looks. This one looks great, don't get me wrong. <laughs> But even if it looks bad, there's always, a, uh, ho there's always hope. Uh, we can kill that kitten, like, right now. Well, right now. Whenever they play something. But if they play something and target Imperial Recruiter, I may just fire ice the Imperial Recruiter. Okay. How are we attacking here? Is everything going on at means Kambu? That's completely fine, right? With Champ? I'm going to kill the kitten now, before they can do anything weird with it. Champ, keep means Kambu and attack for a million? Sounds like a perfectly reasonable plan. Also, we cannot Champ, we can not Champ and just win the game with what we have on board like I don't think 
there isn't a wrong way to eat this raisin, as Paul Richter would say. Come on, come on, come on. What are you playing? Having the rampaging raptor in hand, I just feel very confident we got this one. See, they can blink their own kitten now. They're blinking mana grid, right? Yeah! Super fast and easy 3-0. Happy. We'll probably play a couple more of these ones, but for now, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, that kind of things. You know, the YouTube things. And come tomorrow for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye.